Yeah, so <clears throat> today starting out to be a good day. Um, the we did the excavator work two days ago. Got the trench dug for the um, geothermal thing, for the geothermal cooling and heating, I should say. Um, yesterday had to do a trip to the airport, so I didn't really do anything. Um, but you know, today we went to the property and I was gonna start doing work and I'm still gonna do work, but uh, so, um, you know, I, <laughs> there she goes. I rescued her about six and a half years ago. <clears throat> For those that don't know, ah, <laughs> Ranger, <laughs> Ranger, stop. <laughs> okay. So I rescued her um, six and a half years ago. Um, she was a medical nightmare. She was <clears throat> pretty much tortured before I got her. Um, she was in ICU for three weeks before I brought her home. Um, she's, since I've had her, I think had 13 surgeries. Um, I've spent over $20,000 on her uh, medical bills. Um, <clears throat> and while I was staying in California, um, she ended up having another procedure where they removed another tumor. She's basically been fighting uh, various forms of cancer that whole time uh, among a slew of other crazy medical anomalies like uh, sh she's a, a walking medical mystery um, she's had to have several things amputated due to a bacteria that lives in her body um, but yeah she had another procedure had a small tumor taken out it was confirmed that it was cancer again um, they wanted to do a massive um, surgery on her um, to basically remove all of her mammaries um, in the hopes to save her and uh, I made the call of you know she's she's been through so many things and <clears throat> at some point like <clears throat> when do you stop you when do you stop you know doing all the fighting and um, so I decided <clears throat> it was then Ranger come back buddy Ranger come here um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, we decided to stop fighting and <laughs> on borrowed time, um, and, you know, I know of a few of little tumors that were popping up again, um, but she's been having <sighs> some trouble breathing lately, and, uh, I found a pretty big tumor on her throat today, so... Um, kind of ruined my day but I'll get some work done still um, I just don't know how much longer she's going to be around so, that sucks I just made an appointment for the little girl to make sure my suspicions are correct or not correct but she did get a replacement life jacket and she's been using it today she's looking very cute huh are you looking very cute are you looking very cute yes you are and you're just eating cat poop and you're gross uh, so as i was i believe i said earlier i just picked up this little rowdy derringer um as a snake gun as opposed to carrying this 12 gauge around which is rather cumbersome and obviously do stupid things like take my teeth out with it um i got this it shoots these uh, 410 shotgun shells, um, so as you can see, it's a pretty good size round. Um, should do just fine on snakes, and I'm about to give it its first little whirl. I ended up getting a boat, sweet ass boat. Don't be jealous. You know, when you're rich like me, you can afford a yacht like this. So every time I'm about to film, it starts to uh, blow wind and makes it loud and hopefully you can hear me. But um, yeah, I just edited episode four and uh, it was pretty dismal um, and realized it was real long on the tooth and I'm just showing a bunch of stuff that really doesn't freaking matter. So, um, you know, as you saw the lead in, uh, things got pretty emotional regarding Roxy. Um, good news is 
she does not have a big uh, tumor on her throat. Ended up being some sort of infection of some sort. Um, she's all cleared up and good to go. She's not actually here today. She didn't feel like coming to the property. Um, so that's good. I mean, she still has cancer and you know, it's just a matter of time or whatever, but um, you know, at least I don't have to deal with that right away. So um, anyways, I'm sitting in the chicken coop currently. I'll show you around real fast. Um, I have to finish painting the floor. The blank spots are going to be a different color since I grabbed uh, reject paint at Lowe's. Basically they mixed a color for somebody. They didn't like it, so uh, the paint was half off. Um, basically I just wanted to paint anywhere that I think the chickens may uh, end up, uh, you know, relieving themselves on just to try to save uh, the wood as much as possible. There will still be a layer of um, straw and whatnot. Um, we have a bunch of roosts here, roosts, um, all these different roosts and um, you know I'll be able to add more if I need to. Uh, I still need to figure out exactly how and where I'm going to do the uh, laying boxes um, but I kind of have an idea but I don't really want to put those in until I have the walls up. Uh, it's going to be another few days before the uh, roofing panels come in um, but to get to this point there was a little bit of adversity. Um, I took a few shortcuts to uh, save time and money. Um, that oftentimes bites me in the ass, but basically um, I do have the foundation raised off the ground so the chickens can get underneath it. Um, originally I was going to cement it into the ground. My friend said, what if I need to move it? So I made it movable. In hindsight, should have probably just cemented it into the ground because I honestly don't think this thing will survive a move but we'll see um then after i got the floor in um, i started doing some of the framing um, i got three walls up because i didn't want to do the outside wall until the the geothermal uh situation was done um just thought it'd be easier uh so what ended up happening was we had a pretty gnarly storm um the, we had a small storm last night <clears throat> i was at, back at the property i'm staying at and uh came here all these barrels were in the water. Um, all this trash blew over here. And the three walls I had up for the chicken coop are now gone. So, so basically I had to uh, start over. Um, luckily the wood I had cut already, but I had to pull all the nails out, which is just a waste of money. Um, basically nailed and screwed everything back together. Uh, build the rest of the walls, put them up. Um, now it's pretty sound. Once the sheeting's on, it'll be a, a lot stronger. Um, it's fairly level, it's not perfect, but it, it's for chickens. Um, <clears throat> we got the uh, geothermal trench dug and we ran an excavator, dug that up. My ground here is actually pretty hard, probably why I have the ponds here. Um, but basically, the way that it works is, or the theory of how it works is, um, in South Carolina, uh, typically um, in harsh weather, um, like harsh winters, uh, the frost is only going to penetrate six inches into the ground. So everything below six inches is not frozen. Um, it varies in different parts of the uh, country and world, um, like South Dakota, for instance, or North Dakota, uh, the frost could go down 40 inches. Um, so here, I uh, dug the trench 36 plus inches. So there's gonna be tubes underneath there that carry air. Um, when it's cold outside, the air underground is going to be warmer. Um, that'll pump into the coop when it's uh, winter time. In the summertime, when it's very hot outside, the air is actually gonna be cooler down there. So it'll pump cooler air into the coop to try to keep them a little bit more comfortable. Um, so that's the concept of it. Uh, the primary use of it is going to be for the greenhouse when that gets built, but um, wanted to uh, you know, use it to try to help the chickens out a little bit just to make it a little bit more comfortable and hopefully keep them in a more um, like, uh, you know, consistent laying because um, you know, temperature and things like that can affect them. So that's that. I'm gonna finish painting this up. A uh, couple days I'll get the roof panels and then I'll get the siding on. Um, chicken coop will essentially be done minus electronics um, and uh, then we can move the chickens here. Speaking of chickens, here we go. Hey 
Hey, Ranger. Buddy. Hey, Ranger. Ranger. See, look. See this guy? See? Ranger. 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 Look, see? So, good boy. Come here. Sit. Ranger. Ranger. Shh. Hey. Sit. Good boy. Look at your friend. Be nice. Good boy. Good boy. So when the chickens came in, I was having kind of a rough day. Um, generally, it was like the day after um, Roxy was potentially on her deathbed. Um, I, she was going to be going to the vet the next day, but, you know, wasn't really sure what was going on. Um, no idea to get out to the property to do stuff. But also, generally, when uh, chickens come in, they... Um, the post office will call you like first thing in the morning because they handle live animals first. Um, I tracked them, saw that the chickens were here, but I hadn't gotten a phone call. So I started driving the hour out to the post office and uh, got to the property. That's when I saw everything was a mess. Everything got, you know, destroyed from the, the storm and whatnot. Um, but then I got the call. The chickens were there. So went and picked up the chickens and they're super cute. Um, ended up getting i ordered 29 they sent me 30. uh one of them did pass away not sure how um it's still pretty i think it was three or four days old at that point so any number of things could have happened um but you know still have 29 they're they're going strong they're getting big um i started them all out in the same tub uh within a couple of days i split them into 15 and 14. um wasn't ideal i'd like them to all stay together but they're just getting too big for those tubs um and i kind of rotate them so they can kind of all get used to each other uh, it's i probably don't need to do that but i am uh, i want them to kind of be as cohesive as a herd as possible um and yeah once the coop's done i'll be throwing them into the coop um so other than that um the house hasn't made too much progress because i'm concentrating on the chicken situation um but here's what's going on with the trees and what i have planted so far pretty sure the honey crisp was a goner when i got it it looks like it's doing okay um i have not seen new new growth on it yet though so um not too sure on that one the banana tree was another one that i was pretty sure was a goner um it has sprouted a new leaf this one has come in it's fresh um so hopefully that'll be doing okay and uh, yeah, all these are doing pretty good. I had to stake a few because the wind's blowing them all over the place. But yeah, my pistachios are doing great. Um, and the only one that isn't doing so hot right now is a maple. So my maple is not doing great. Um, I need to stake it. But um, in the storm that we had, it snapped what was you know i had growth up to about here um it snapped it off so i ain't no too happy um just getting some new growth though so that's pretty good so yeah we shall see what up babe little boy come on ranger come on so my berries are doing pretty good blueberries elderberry this elderberry looks like it's going to fruit the other one does not um, these blueberries are already already giving fruit and they're pretty tasty grapes looking good um, the raspberry which sucked it's seems to be doing okay um, this guy right here broke it had a, a pretty good branch that was attaching to this and uh i lost some raspberries it looks like they were actually already budded and ready to start turning so um yeah hopefully this girl does okay all right so the chicken coop is done being painted at least the floor uh check out those beautiful colors what's crazy is someone 
actually thought that this was going to be a good color to paint on the outside of their house or whatever it was because this is an exterior paint so that's interesting but anyways not pretty but it's cheaper and it's functional and you're not going to see it when all the straws in there so hopefully soon i'll get the uh siding in and get this thing wrapped up and move the chickens in here so uh yeah if you actually care about what i'm doing uh if you're interested in what i'm doing um uh, you know please the the likes help um sharing it helps um subscribing helps um yeah i don't know it's gonna be a long journey so whether people watch it or not i will tell it so till next time all right on the main voyage of the ss don't sink going around trying to collect lures that are stuck in trees that i can see and uh, maybe some of the big pieces of trash on the bank that I could not get to. Um, so far, so good. Using an old oar that was floating in the pond when we got here. Um, my dog actually pulled it out for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm a floating. We'll see how it goes. Here's something you don't see every day. Um, this toad <laughs> tripped a mouse trap that I had set up. So, um, yeah, it didn't do what it was supposed to, but I guess it kind of did. <laughs>